Hello! Today I'm going to have my first foray into aluminium welding. For five pounds off of eBay, I think for like five pounds and shipping, which is about six pounds, you can buy one kilogram of aluminium offcuts. These ones are actually all the same size, which is quite interesting. They are all exactly the same size. They are mm, three mil thick. Holds up the ruler. Uh, two, two mil, three mil thick, anyway, two mil, three mil thick, aluminium. We are going to have a very first shot at TIG welding with what we've got. My goal here is to see if I can TIG weld without buying anything extra, using the machine that I've got and the torch, tungstens, all the other bits and bobs. So, let's get welding. Right, here's the welder settings. I have set the peak current to 801 amps. 100. We're on uh, not pulse. It's got like single pulse, multi pulse, and it's not pulse. We're on uh, TIG. AC, 200 hertz, and between 20 and 80 percent, so that's maybe 40 percent cleaning. A little bit of post flow, but well, it doesn't. Post flow seems to still count, even though I'm not using 4T, I'm still using 2T. Anyway, then I need to worry about anything else for. There is a little bit of post flow. So that's my settings. Give or take. Gas flow is just a smidge over 15 litres a minute. Okay, got the welder set to AC. 100 amps. No idea if that's good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I'm going into a filler rod, I suppose. Where are they? Random array of aluminium filler rods. Wait, it's marked on them what they are. 4047! I don't even know what that means! Jesus, near the film again. A good welding helmet for. I keep it clean and. No, you should probably keep all of them clean, but. I keep this one the most clean. I've got my helmet on. I'm going to move my microphone inside my helmet. Or inside her. Okay. Oh, you know about good, yeah. Peeling the plastic off the back of the aluminium. If I had any acetone, I would absolutely clean up that stone. But I don't. So, let us... Zoom in. Oh, and there's the lights on off again. Marvellous. Right, we are literally going to batter in and see what happens when we fire this up. 100 amps, AC. Does it make a puddle? Does it make a mess? You're gonna find out. Oh, my helmet's assuming that I'm already welding. It's too sensitive. Right. Ugh. Well, I've made a hole, I suppose. <laughs> and as you'll hear from the sound, pretty much the first thing I did was dip the tungsten into the aluminium. But, 100 amps, it melted it. I got some penetration rates with the back, if you could see that. Boy, that gets hot fast and melts fast. Oh well, let's go and grind the tungsten, seeing as that's what we'll be doing for the most of today. One dull tungsten. Is that still in shot? Huh, it still is. I'm not liking nobody to see with this weld nail. Why does it keep... It keeps thinking the light above me is me welding. Yeah, great. Be able to see. <laughs> oh. 
wow, that aluminium gets like hot fast. Like it starts off difficult to get the puddle going, and the puddle starts and it, it really goes. It, and I managed to not, I've not dipped it in the dung in the in the puddle so far. I think I need to go a bit darker, much darker, so I can see what I'm doing. But so far. Ah, I dipped it. Well, I'm going to try just a tip on my dunkson. Not a dull tip, just like a, a tip. I'm curious, just curious. Bye, Curious George. <laughs> Too dark, can't see. Did you spend welding? Well, about four seconds, and the rest of the time I spent grinding the tungsten. Not to worry, this is all learning, this is what we're here for. How bad a job can you make? This is why welding aluminium is really specialised. I know my specialisation, it takes a lot of skill, practice, all of the above. At least see what I'm doing now. Let's try dipping some. Okay, alum aluminium gods, what does this look like? What's, what am I doing wrong here? What's, too fast, too slow, too hot, not enough hot. David, you're a shite welder. I'm not a welder, I'm a baker. I just happen to weld in my garage. So, that's stage one. The machine does work. It gets aluminium to turn into liquid. It might even stick two bits of aluminium together. Should I try that? Or should I keep that for the next video? Stage one, getting the machine to weld. Also, oh, I'm not gonna be able to focus on this. What does this, right, I did not dip it in the puddle. I am almost fairly sure I didn't dip it in the puddle. What does it mean when my tungsten does that? Uh, can you see it? It's got a ball in the end of it, but I'm fairly sure it's not a ball of aluminium. Or is it a ball of aluminium? Has aluminium transferred to my tungsten? Please, please tell me. And, and let me know where I'm going horribly wrong, or not wrong. But, the machine works. It melts aluminium, so I can at least join aluminium if I wanted to. And, okay, just please leave helpful comments. Please don't tell me David you're a shite welder. I know I'm a shite welder. I'm here to learn and practice. Buying a new torch isn't really an option at the moment. Oh, I should look at the other side. Oh. Okay, I'm two goes in, I'm already getting slightly better. Can you see that? Ah! Ah, the aluminium's really hot! So, 
What do you think? Can I have helps and tips, please? Oh, we've even got penetration, look. Ah! Wow, aluminium gets really, really warm. Right, that's enough of this for today. Helpful comments, please. Please help me. Please. Jesus wept, that's getting hot. Holy fuck.